Shut up, Cicada! Cicada! Shut up! Okay. Alright. Here at the Banana Room, comedy history is being made. Evan Dubois, first comedy album. What is the name of this comedy album? Um, a Child Made This. You here to hear first. A Child Made This, first album with Cottage Country Digital. I was blessed years ago in the destiny of discovery of the Banana Room. I, yeah, I didn't discover it. I got shouted at and invited into it. We'll, we'll get into that in a bit. But now, now we are here. And I'm here with... Uh, Evan Dubois. <laughs> the legend. <laughs> the hero. <laughs> Who else will be on the bill tonight uh, for your first comedy album taping? So on the, the first show, we have uh, Ed World, Mike Payne, and... Um, Nate Friedman, and on the second show, we have Ian Stewart, Mike Payne, and Tyler Morrison, and Ada. Yeah, Ada Nicole. A show you don't want to miss, but I guess if you're watching this and you weren't there, you did. Sucker! <laughs> but, I, okay, I'm going to take it back. I can't get it out of my brain. Let's rewind a bit. Out of all, every, all the fruit in the comedic kingdom, what landed you with the banana room? It looks like a penis, Taylor. <laughs> that it does. Let's move on from the name. How did it all get started? How did it all begin? Well, the pandemic started and we didn't have a place to perform. So I, I figured I'd just make a place in my backyard. Um, it wasn't my idea. I stole the idea from other people who did it. I just did it better. <laughs> you heard it here first. Dr. T Show exclusive. Dr. T Show exclusive. <laughs> But how did you yourself start in comedy? It wasn't, it didn't start with the banana room. You, you've been a comedian for years now. Yeah, uh, I started, I did my first set when I was 17. I drove down to the, the Yucks in Ajax and I did like the amateur night there. It was, uh, it was a fun experience. I remember, I have a, like this weird memory of like me getting there. We park and like there's a fence behind the parking lot and I see this group of kids running and then I see this fat kid chasing after them. <laughs> and then the group of kids hopped the fence. Like they were playing tag, clearly. The group of kids hopped the fence and then the fat kid who was it gets to the fence, looks at it and goes, no. And then he keeps running down the path. <laughs> you heard it here first. And I remember the first day I saw you doing stand up. This is the, uh, the epic, the epic story that we were talking about minutes ago. I was walking down the street, you know, I was doing my, uh, my daily nice evening walk, the COVID walk, you know, I gotta lose, I gotta shed some pounds, and I'm walking down the street, and here's some guys on the sidewalk going, hey, hey, and at first, my first reaction is like, yeah, get, get going, get, me, get out of here, and, but, I'm not that kind of guy, I'm a, I'm a nice guy, and I took out the earbuds, and they said, hey, there's comedy back here, and then you said, there's beer also, and then, boom, <laughs> zoomed right into the backyard where we are now, and the scroll opened, and the story of the banana room in my life became the. It saddens me that it wasn't me or my personality or the potential of my jokes being funny got, that got you in. It was the free beer. That's what it was. <laughs> That's what got me in, but you yourself kept me coming back and back. And then, actually, if you guys remember the Last Dessert music video, you can find that in the... Right here, right there. <laughs> that was filmed here, right here, right in this backyard, right here. And it was produced by the man himself, Evan Dubois. But that is not the only content that he has named to here on YouTube. You also have a lieu of online skits. <laughs> We're all happier about you. make us smile, man. I'm smiling, man. How has the transition been from putting on backyard shows in minus 30 degrees snowstorms with sideways hail to your very own show at the Royal Comedy Theater? What has the transition been like? Swell. Swell, yes. <laughs> Peachy. Peachy for a banana room setting. Yeah, absolutely. And not only that, you also have a weekly show at the Social Capital, I do believe. Uh, do I believe? Uh, Bi-weekly, we run it every other Sunday. It's a sketch show, sort of like SNL style. We write it brand new every two weeks so that people can come back and it's not just the same 
show every time. <laughs> Though I do, I do enjoy coming back to hear your songs over and over again. Uh, they've been in my brain, and now they've been recorded in your first ever album. That's right. Yuck Yucks, Comedy Bar, <clears throat> Weed Advisor, <clears throat> are just a few of the notable comedy bars you've graced. What are the most memorable for you so far? I did a show in Sault Ste. Marie once with Cedric. It was like a 150 seat theater, like in, in this top part of like an old warehouse. And it, it was like this music venue and the audience was just so great. Promo I made for the album taping. I took like a laugh break from that thing and I was like, I'm gonna do the whole promo over this laugh break, you know, like an asshole. But <laughs> it was like 30 seconds, it blew my mind. Who are some notable comedians you've had come through the banana room? Of course, Cedric. We had Toronto Batman at one point. What are some others that you would like to shout out to? Al Val is always great. Kyle Lucy is hilarious. You know, um, even a few times, he's very funny. David Green, one of the nicest headliners I've ever met. <laughs> yeah, obviously, like, Ed World, Hattie, uh, Nate, Ian. Oh, great. <laughs> now, do you uh, do you contact them, or do they reach out to you to get onto the list, or do you do all the setup? It's a it's a bit of a mix, cause like I need to book the shows in advance a little bit. So if a headliner messages me asking for a spot, usually I'll be like, yeah. When <laughs> you know, if I need people, I'll send out messages and be like, please help me. <laughs> Are you currently taking in new comedians, and how can they come into contact or reach out to you? Yeah, just uh, message the Banana Room page on Instagram. We, we love having new comics because, um, you know, it's got to be a place to perform and it's tough to get on shows that aren't open mics when you start out. Mm -hmm. So, like, I wanted uh, people always, I, I wasn't, I haven't been around the city long enough to have been to Spirits, but people always talk about this Wednesday room called Spirits where, like, pros could go out and then, like, amateurs could get spots and it was, like, this magical place where, like, everyone would get along. And I, that's kind of what I envisioned for this. So yeah, if anyone wants a spot, just send a message to the page. <laughs> oh, this place is magical. It is whimsical, to the very least. With some of your sets, you have a very, very unique, hilarious bits in where you play off a pre-recorded voice or a beat, like the bully song, the setting up song, the sexy song. What is the process of making these, uh, rehearsing these, and who records and mixes them? Um, so I record and mix all of my stuff. I'm exposing your secrets, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are some of your comedic inspirations? Um, obviously Bo Burnham, because he does uh, a lot of great musical comedy. As, uh, and uh, I love Mike Birbiglia. Mm -hmm. He's a good storyteller. I like uh, John Mulaney. I don't know. Hard question to answer. Controversial one in comedy. What are some subjects that are completely off bounds? What do you believe should, should not be made jest of? I think anything can be made funny just in the right context. That's the right answer. Yeah, well, you can do a joke about something bad as long as you're not being malicious, you know? You have to be on the proper side of the joke, I guess. Is what that, that should be your next album, The Proper Side of the Joke. <laughs> <laughs> Find Evan's hilarious shorts, sketch show clips, and more on YouTube, Evan Dubois. Follow The Banana Room on Facebook, Instagram, at The Banana Room Toronto. Get your tickets for the next show or every Wednesday at royalcomedy.ca. Will you ever do backyard shows again, or is that just in the past for you now? Maybe an improv jam. That could be fun. <laughs> That'll be fun. I'm Evan Dubois, and you've been peeled right in the fields on the Dr. T Show. Can we, can we do a different one? Yeah. I don't know if I... You already did it. Yeah!